So this is the first power up of a Samsung HTQ. So first thing you notice when you power up, you got your flashing green LEDs on your outdoor unit. And um, if we go to our indoor unit, if we look at the PCB here, you can see some little green lights down here. I'm telling us they got power, so that's a great start. Um, remote controller is obviously wired in here. Um, but notice this. So until the unit's been on for about 40 seconds, um, we are not going to get any lights on the controllers. You've just got to chill out and, and wait, and then um, this will power up. Um, so if you go to your outdoor unit while you're waiting and you listen, um, you can hear some of the valves moving. You hear a sort of funny woodpeckery sound, um, which is an expansion valve, which is very difficult to see from here, but it is right down the back there where my finger's pointing. And now you can actually hear the inverter so now my controller has come to life and notice it's still got the little sticky on so it's going to be a bit insensitive good but it's new so i don't want to pull it off so unless you want to do it in any other language english is a good start press ok and then it says scanning so scanning zero means it's it's basically powering up and it's checking its indoor unit scanning one means that it can see between the indoor pcb this one the main one and the outdoor PCB. So this is a good start. So if it sticks on scanning zero, you haven't put your comms cable in between the indoor and outdoor or the power's off to the outdoor. Um, if it says scanning one, things are looking really good. This takes something like 30 seconds. It's just kind of checking out everything's there, checking addresses, doing a kind of handshake, making sure everything's good. And actually every time you start the unit up, um, it will do this. And then you enter into my normal screen. So this is a completely brand new, fresh unit. Um, so you can see things like the date is completely wrong, of course, up at the top, that needs adjusting. Zone is heating, so that is off, obviously. Most importantly, DHW is not supported out of the box. So we'll need to be making some settings to tell it it's got a hot water cylinder, check the dates and so on. One of the common problems with Samsung units is that if you don't know anything about them, you think that if you hit that button there, uh, it starts and you can go home. You cannot. There is more to it than that and I'll show you that in later videos.